Can we see us though? Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so we left uh, Coco Village in this video. You're gonna see us leave and we're going to Tysville because that's where we have to haul out and get bottom paint. But first we check out that island right over there. So yeah. And uh, also my wife makes one of her yummy crock pot meals on the way. Uh, it was good. Oh yeah. With turnips. So y'all stay tuned. Turnips. Yeah, you you for shaving it on the passage. Turnips? Not uh, turnips. Rutabaga. No rutabaga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't I didn't buy any turnips. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned, we'll get into this. Okay, this is our last full day in the Sanctuary. We're leaving tomorrow. And boy, it's sending us up well in Coco Village. Winds like this all night. It's been 30, 40 knots. Really sucking. But uh, not much sleep last night. So our dog finally knows how to use the carpet or the fake grass. Good Bella. And this here is why we don't eat catfish. I have a dog turd. Drop it down. Catfish. Flock to it. Eat it all up. We're ready to get out of this anchorage. I just gotta get the snubber all set up, check the oil, turn off the gauges, turn on the gauges, and uh, open the seacock, turn on the battery, blah, 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 blah. But, it's not like going to the grocery <laughs> store and leaving your house. <laughs> but yeah, today is a great day, not like yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was windy. But uh, we're going to head out to Titusville, is that right? I think so. Yeah, and uh, we're going to get some water there because we've been on the hook for 20 days mm -hmm. and we are almost out of water. So we got to get some water and uh, that's where we're going to haul out and do our bottom paint. And now I have to pull up the snubber. My wife, she just pulls up the anchor. So, I'll show you our so snubber setup. So basically, we you can probably see the bottom of it there, but we have a short snubber tied on here. And then, for added safety, I tie my anchor chain on too. So, yeah, we'll get this up. Okay, so we're getting out of here. That's our in instruments, our windlass. Our VHF on. It's daylight. We don't need anything else. I don't think. We need our stereo on. <laughs> okay, I forgot to turn on the autopilot. That's going to be needed. It's right here. There we go. Now we have autopilot. Okay, we're spitting water. That's a good sign. Okay, my wife is going. My wife is going to uh, go push because we're on a separate channel. So my wife is going to go push the uh, or bring up the anchor. So our radio is on intercom right now. And there she goes. She'll tell me which direction to go. I'm going to turn off now. Radio didn't work, but she's giving good hand signals. How was that, babe? Well, we were swimming all over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's right? No. It's, uh, it's the wind's blowing us around. It's fine. See, there's a crab pot right over there in the uh, anchorage, but we're getting on out of here. We've got a few bridges to go under. I see it. He's going way faster than we are. We're barely doing two knots. I better go faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to get to the ice I can slow down. Compot way out there. Hopefully, there's one over here. I didn't see one over there, babe. 
our anchor line. Look. Oh, all right, girl. <laughs> the baby's down here making us a roast while we're underway. Rock Pot Mill will be ready by the time we get there in four hours. <laughs> use some of the stuff that our aunt got. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that, but that five foot point right there, that would sure be jarring to hit. You gotta keep off that. You should be right over by that green marker. This ICW is crooked. And that right there is why we won't travel the ICW at night. It's just littered with them right along the edge of the ICW. And that's our channel marker right there. So we're on the uh, edge. But, yeah, I don't know if that's one right there in the middle of the channel, that orange one. We'll avoid it. See, there's a crab boat right there, and he's got crab pods. Basically, on course because we're uh, our charge show, we're on the uh, ICW exactly. And he's got him right on the edge. Danielle is freaking out about it. <laughs> but and then the pelicans you can tell it's crab boat because the pelicans are chasing him down because he's throwing out carcasses. Well, we have a lot of traffic out here. Just sail boats. We've been passed by a few motor boats. One back there. Now this one uh, came up on our starboard side. He was really close to the channel marker going through. Billy, you got lunch there? Oh yeah. Lunch on passage. We reached the halfway point and we're gonna go under the NASA bridge, babe. Charts say it's 27 foot. We looked it up, it says it's 65. What do you think of this? I don't know, the green mark is on that side though. I know, I'm gonna go towards it. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunch. <laughs> have all these darn fishing boats hanging out underneath where we're supposed to go. What the hell are they doing? Joe's right under the bridge made it hard to pass. Okay, my babe's out here filling some rutabaga and the water out here is just glass. There's no wind, no nothing. And we're about three nautical miles from Titusville Marina. Okay, we're in Titusville. We're anchored again, got a hundred, a hundred chain, a hundred foot of chain out, eight foot of water. So we should be good. And let's see what Danielle's doing. So Danielle finished the passage. She's getting our rutabaga in, in there. Roast the whole passage. And now I'm gonna stick rutabaga in. And uh. Hopefully that didn't turn off. Okay. No, it didn't. Ah, that's hot. Yeah. Let's see what this roast yeah. looks like. Oh, it's shrunk, but oh, it's yeah. not its oh, yeah. not tender yet. The garlic on top, and then some rutabaga, and we're going to have dinner tonight. Yeah. Now, pass this drink here in a minute. Okay, uh, guys, we're going to our first island. First island adventure that we've ever been on on this boat. So, it's a little island. It's just right over there. So... Take you. people there. Hopefully our dog doesn't cause an issue. Yeah. She's not people centric. No. Hopefully. You think she's going to start barking? I uh, probably. Belle, you better be good. I ain't even going to be doing this. <laughs> so we're heading over. There you can see the beach there. And, uh, our dog is getting a little turd. 
Oh no. And we have smokers right there. <laughs> and now we're in the ICW. This is our speedboat. And this is a uh, this is island called this is that, that horseshoe horse, uh, horseshoe, horseshoe crab island. yeah horseshoe crab island. My like babe, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm just I'm not making sure we're not gonna hit the bottom. So our first landing, and we got our beach chairs, and I'll probably tie up the boat to that stump over there or something or over here. But yeah, it's it's nice. Here comes more people. It's getting crowded over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, going to do some downers on the beach. This looks white sand. We were looking at, but it's mostly just uh, seashells. Bella's first experience with the ocean. She actually stepped in. She usually hates water. <laughs> You're getting all tangled up there. <laughs> you can't let her loose because of uh, people over there. She's not really oriented to people like it just yet. So I was in charge of bringing drinks and uh, have ice and uh, mixture in here. I just forgot the water. Yeah. I like a shot. That gross. Uh, we'll make do. Just out here for a while. I only got one drink. Well, there's a no wake zone over by where our boat is, right, right by the sign, and we have jet skis just playing around. You're not going to make those people in the morning happy. No. They but, pay for their stuff. Yes, they do. But look at that view, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't say it's been really, it's kind of, I've noticed some bugs, though, <laughs> because there's so much trees out there. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing some bugs, which we did not have in Cocoa Village. No. Because there was like no trees. No. But we also didn't have a little beach to go to. No, not not close enough for a dinghy. Mm. And there's our dog. She's just finally chillaxed in the shade. Calmed her butt down. So what did you think of beach day, babe? Hot. Hot? Yeah, I would have gotten in the water, but I don't trust the ICW, nor do I trust it to make water. So, I didn't want any kind of fungus growing on my skin, so. I'm going to go take a shower now. Yep, I'm going to prep the dinghy. Get in there and get some video of that shower scene. You are not, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, not, absolutely not. Okay, guys, so... Hopefully you enjoyed our passage of the exciting fishing people that blocked under the bridge oh and gosh. <laughs> the smokers. She loves the smokers. They love sailboats. Yeah, they do. They like to circle around them. It gives us a it kind of rocks you asleep like we're doing now. <laughs> but uh, that's because we just had a boat. Yeah, come we just through. had a boat pass. So yeah, and uh, next week we will be out of the water. So, not looking forward to it. No. 
and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you uh, liked it, go ahead and write down there, like it. If you like our channel, subscribe. Uh, if you have if you had feedback, feedback, go ahead and uh, leave that down below too. And also check out this girl's recipes. She's uh, a little behind right now, but yes. she's gonna be catching up. So gonna be yummy deliciousness right there. And uh, sorry we haven't made a video in a while. A lot of things got in the way. But uh, oh, yeah. y'all, boat life, boat life. Y'all please take care. <laughs>